What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George and roughly a year ago today I published uh, this video where I basically show you guys how you can land social media uh, e-commerce clients uh, for your agency. And it's listed at one of the most viewed uh, videos on this channel next to the like the day in the life vlogs. I think it's in third place at the time recording this. And it's still like one of the most requested um, videos on my channel. I literally, I get so many questions from people saying, can you do a video on how to find e-commerce clients? I'm like, guys, it's literally one of the most viewed videos on my channel, you know, just take a look. Um, but, you know, like I said, because it was like roughly a year ago today, I thought I would refilm that video and just show you guys, you know, how you can land e-commerce clients for your social media marketing agency in 2020 and just basically update the video, you know, show some new tips and tricks and uh, just basically show you guys, you know, how you can actually do it with, you know, minimal efforts and minimum time possible. Now, with that said, it is a numbers game. So I can show you all the methods, I can show you all the shortcuts, all the strategies, but you will still need to put in the time and in the effort, okay? You need to consistently reach out to 10, 20, maybe even 30, uh, you know, businesses every single day to, you know, start getting responses. Like I get a lot of questions from people that are getting disheartened because they've reached out to 40 businesses and uh, only four of them responded. And after they responded, they didn't agree to get on a call with me. And I'm like, that's, that's, temp that's a 10% conversion rate, uh, which is actually, you know, pretty good. Um, but all you need to do is follow up. You know, what did you do with the people that ignored you? How many um businesses do you reach out to the next day you know is that one day or is it a month you know how many businesses are you reaching out to every single month what is the message that you're reaching out you know out to them with is that any good what's the conversion rate on it what's the reply rate that you're getting um you know how are you following up with these businesses if so how many times you know at the end of the day you need to know your numbers to figure out how long it takes you to get one social media client and then as soon as you know your numbers then you can just extrapolate that, okay? So if you know how long it takes you to land one client, then you know, okay, I need to reach out to double the amount of businesses to land two clients, okay? And that is the way you need to think of it, okay? Think of it in terms of data. So don't get disheartened, just think, okay, that is just another business that, um, you know, that I needed to reach out to to find that right business, if you know what I mean, okay? So anyway, guys, without rambling on too much, I'm now gonna hop onto the computer and then show you guys the two methods that I use to reach out to e-commerce businesses. No, I don't waste no time. So guys, welcome into uh, my computer. Um, so like I said, in today's video, I'm going to be looking for e-commerce clients for my social media agency. And what a lot of people don't know is that there's actually an entire database online of e-commerce stores. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that website is. It's myip.ms. And uh, for those of you that um, you know are familiar with e-commerce, etc. You guys will know that a lot of the e-commerce stores are actually hosted by Shopify, and Shopify is based in Canada. So we are basically going to be using that as information uh, to find more e-commerce stores. So as you can see, uh, this is the myip.ms website. Uh, no, I am currently not in Romania. I'm using a VPN to block out my IP address. Uh, but when you are on this website, I want you to go to hosting companies and then go to Canada. Cause like I said, my uh, Shopify is in Canada. So as you can see, Shopify is the number one with the most hits uh, in Canada. So we are going to click on that. If uh, for some random reason, it's not on number one, just search for Shopify and you'll get it as well. And as you can see here, there are currently 179,235 e-commerce stores hosted by Shopify. So if you click on that, you'll be brought to the entire database. As you can see guys, 35, uh, no, so 3,588 pages, um, each with 50 results per page, all e-commerce stores that you can reach out to. Now, obviously, as you can see on the top page, you've got My Shopify, you've got Gymshark, you know, you've got massive, massive e-commerce stores on this website, and 
you know, chances are that they have a big team that are actually managing all their socials and doing all of their media buying and paid traffic. So what we are now trying to do is find smaller stores that are still getting a lot of views um, and you know possibly even sales as well and um, but that you know we can basically take to the next level so as you can see you know you've, you can also um, for example let's say you only want to work with yoga e-commerce stores you can type in yoga so it filters on all of the e-commerce stores that have yoga in you know the URL but for today we're just going to leave all that out make sure um, that the IP owner is Shopify so let me just quickly go back to Shopify there and then in terms of popularity like I said we want e-commerce stores that do have you know a lot of views but not so big that you know you're in like the top 10 of the biggest websites in the world so what I do is I filter by a thousand as you can see here so we want websites with at least a thousand visitors per day then from there we click on search and then we prove that we are human um, click on the button to prove you're not a robot oh, okay so we are no robots and as you can see guys um, again like I said make sure that you are on Shopify because uh, you, otherwise you'll get other types of uh, companies. So let me just try that one more time. Um, there we go. Search. Please wait. That's fine. While we're waiting, guys, please leave this video with a thumbs up. And there we go. So we still haven't filtered by um, the with at least. Ah, okay. So I realised what I figured that I would have done. We've we've now got websites with at least a thousand views, but obviously all of these websites got at least a thousand views. So we will add an end filter to it. So we'll say um, anywhere between a thousand and let's say ten thousand views a day. Okay, so we're now making the filter a little bit smaller. So we now have thirteen thousand seven hundred and eighty-five businesses still to choose from. Um, and as you can see, you know, uh, Shopify and Gymshark are no longer um, top of this list. So these are all smaller websites but that still get a decent amount of views and from here uh, i usually go to page 10 or 20 um so let me just quickly continue continue and then there we go we'll start on page 20 and then from here all you need to do guys is open all of these websites up in new tabs so let's you just open up about 20 different tabs and then from there we'll just look at them one by one um one more and uh, the mellow dog.com why not Okay, and then from here, we basically take a look at these websites and see, you know, what they are doing, what the website looks like, what kind of products they are selling, and so on and so forth. I'm just waiting for all of these to load. Like I said, I've got um, VPN on, a virtual private network, so my internet is slightly slower, but obviously, you know, my uh, location is uh, secure. So as you can see, this is a dog bed store, um, and as you can see here, they potentially could not be, uh, haven't got a Facebook Pixel installed. So one thing is very important to do is to make sure that you have your ad blocker switched off. Um, pause on all websites, why? Because otherwise we can't use the Facebook Pixel helper successfully. And as you can see, yes, they have got a Facebook Pixel installed. So um, what we can do, if they haven't got a Facebook Pixel installed, that for me is an automatic red light. And I um, you know, immediately try and reach out to them as soon as possible because they are leaving money on the table. Now they have got the Facebook Pixel installed, but that does not necessarily mean that they have, uh, or that they are running advertisements. So what you can do, at the time of recording this last time, it was actually on the left-hand side. It was a, a section called Info and Ads. Nowadays, Facebook have changed the layout around, and now we need to go to Page Transparency, which is on the right-hand side. We click on See More, and we can see that these are currently running ads. So for me, as soon as they're running ads, I just move on to the next one, um, because, you know, basically they are they already have ads on and you know probably someone is already running them for them um obviously that does not mean that they do not need your help but i try and find those businesses that i can provide the most value to and obviously if they aren't running anything at all and they haven't got the pixel then obviously i can provide the most value um to them as you can see these are running ads um i was wrong i used to think my dog was naughty long copy and then a call to action 60% off free shipping okay so these are actually doing a pretty good job very long copy to be fair i'm not sure i'd go for such long copy for a product that is how much let's see here's what's actually very expensive um no it's literally like 60 canadian dollars 
Um, I don't think copy that long is that necessarily, but okay, you know, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you know, there's not, nothing that we can do in the short term for these guys. Um, so we'll move on to the next one. So these guys haven't got the Facebook Pixel, even though we've got the ad blocker switched off, as you can see here. Um, they have got a messenger bot, which is pretty cool. Uh, but like I said, you know, there's nothing really that um, they are using in terms of Facebook to track who is on their website. So we'll then open up their Facebook page, see what they are doing there. So as you can see, Facebook page looks pretty cool. 55k likes and um, page transparency, see how they're running ads. Not running ads, makes sense. They haven't got the pixel, be weird if they had the pixel and they were running ads. Um, let me just quickly check. So as you can see here, um, they are not running any types of ads. You can also see the location of um, who is managing the pages, etc. Um, but this is a perfect company to reach out to. So all we can, all we can need to do now is just click on send message, uh, get started, and just send them a quick message. So hi, hi Joshua, welcome to the Empower Chatbot. Okay, that's fine. Hi, um, how can I reach, or how can I? Um, best reach your marketing manager and that is all you need to do guys literally that is it okay like a lot of people now start pitching all kinds of stuff you know i can help you guys with social media blah blah, blah. these guys do not know who you are okay they are not interested in your service in the slightest you need to pique their interest so what i do my flow is i ask them uh, how to best reach their marketing manager for the smaller companies the marketing manager is also like, basically a one-man band you know the marketing manager is also the owner and he also manages the pages he does everything and then they'll just give me like an email or a contact um of the owner or they'll this just reply to this you know message message on uh, on facebook but um what we try and do is uh, message the the messenger bot like the, or the messenger feature on facebook we try and get a reply because this is a generic message right like they've got no idea that i'm going to pitch them something about social media so they'll either consider a complaint and they'll you know uh, say you can contact us here uh, they'll give me an email address or a telephone number and then from there we can message them saying hey listen um I, you know i checked out your website i was doing some research online saw your website saw your socials i've got a few ideas for you um, is it okay if I send you a video now if they say yes, that is fine Then I send them a loom if you guys want to know what I say in my looms I also have a loom video which I'll um, either link in the description box or I'll add a card to this website eh, to this video not website um, But that is basically my flow. Okay, so I reach out to them on Facebook see if it is okay if I can get like a contact from them then I ask them if it's okay to send a loom. Okay, so that is basically how uh, you can use myip.ms to reach out to these businesses. Um, same goes for this one, um, no pixel installed. Let me see, have they got Facebook? Yes, they have. Um, and obviously, you know, because the Instagram is there as well, you can also just send them a DM if you've got a good uh, social presence. That is you know, quite important to be fair. If you haven't got a um, professional looking um, social media they are you know, more often than not they won't reply to you so these guys are running ads but don't have the Facebook pixel installed so that is that is interesting you know I don't know how they're doing it um, okay they're actually they're having quite a bit, a bit of a nightmare as you can see they're running ads on the 20th of Feb that was a week ago and it was taken down because they didn't comply with advertising policies they're running ads on every placement possible so you can you know reach out to them and say listen you know, your best just focus on specific placements and tailoring your ads to you know those placements. So you know, there's a lot of stuff that we can do actually for this um, this this potential client. Let me just quickly get that message and copy. Where are they? And there we go. Um, paste. Okay, and literally that is it, guys. That is all you need to do. Um, what the message? Ah, uh, automatic message. Okay, so. Yeah, like I said, that is all you need to do. That is method number one. Now, method number two is slightly less effective, in my opinion. I love the myip.ms um, you know, way of doing things, but you can also just use Google. And the way you can use Google is by, uh, for example, typing in Yoga Way, I don't know, Yoga Way UK. And then you literally get a bunch of advertisements, but below that, you get all of like the yoga type um, web shops and obviously again you, know, you start off with a lot of big web shops so you go to page 10 
and there we go we get smaller web shops so let me just open a few of these see if any of these are actually web shops uh, just to be sure so there we go so this is a web shop they have got the facebook pixel installed um do they have facebook let's see usually it's at the bottom um let's see oh here we go it's left top actually well wow, that's confusing i've never actually seen someone having facebook on the left top let me see are they running any ads currently running ads okay so they they are basically sorted you know they've got the pixel they've got the ads we can just quickly check what it's look what it looks like Okay, to be fair, you could you could do a much better job than you know if you reach out to them because that is pretty poor in my opinion. But who are we to judge? Um, so as you can see, the upside.com has got the Facebook pixel as well. Let me see how they're running ads on Facebook. Pay transparency. Yes, they are currently running ads as well. Okay, so maybe we need to not go to page 10, but a little bit further down to page, let's see, page 20 or something. There you go, page 20. Girl clothing, let me see. Do they have the pixel? Loading pretty slow. Yes, they do. Okay, moving on. Page 22. As you can see, guys, the myip.ms um, website outreach method was um, a little bit more effective. Let me just see if this one, women's yoga wear. And this will be the last one we'll do uh, for this method. So they do have the Facebook pixel. One last check if they've got or are they running any type of advertisements on Facebook. Page transparency. not currently running ads okay so they have the facebook they understand the facebook pixel they understand that it's necessarily to uh you know necessary to reach uh, to have you know some kind of tracking method on their website but they don't actually run ads um on facebook themselves so again just reach out to these businesses ask them if it's okay if you can send them a video then send them a loom with all of the ideas that you have and then ask them if it's okay if you know you guys hop on a call then from there you can uh, basically close them on your social media marketing service so i hope you enjoyed that video and like i said guys it is a numbers game at the end of the day you know i'm not going to go uh, back into rant mode like i did in the introduction but you will need to reach out to a lot of businesses to actually you know get replies in the first place and then get you know businesses that agree to um, a meeting with you or agree to watch your video if you send them a loom and then eventually you know agree to become your client okay now if you need help with this if you want me to personally help you with your social media agency or help you get your social media agency started you know get it up and running get that first client and actually scale it to you know that amount that you desire so that you can live life on your own terms i do have my own coaching program where i do exactly that you get personal access to me via whatsapp you get access to the private mastermind whatsapp group you get access to the facebook group the online course and also access to the weekly group coaching calls that I host every single Sunday. Now, if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, it will be linked in the description box down below. If you're not 100% sure that that is a good decision for you or right investment, then we can also hop on a basically a like discovery call where we can get to know each other a little bit more and see if it is a right fit, okay? Everything is linked in the description box down below. Like I said, thanks again for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next video.